Thank you, Patrick. Okay, so uh, best practice ERP. So these are the, the, the characteristics, I guess, guys, that we would expect to find within a, a best practice ERP. So these, these are the tenants and the, and the features and functions that you typically expect to find in these solutions. Key thing is, you'll see on the slide there, we've got all our various uh, business verticals uh, around purchasing, sales, project management, and so on, production. Uh, we store all that information centrally on one central uh, encrypted secure database. And the idea is we build a set of modules around the core uh, ERP, the core database, to allow us to have one view of those right throughout the organization. So for example, the guys in sales and service can see very clearly uh, what product is due inwards and also what inventory is, is on hand. If we're looking at running a project, perhaps we want to run um, a service uh, project for, for some of our clients, uh, accounts can view it very quickly what's available uh, in terms of budget uh, up to the end of the month for that particular project and so on. So the key thing, as we transact, uh, as we purchase, sell, receive product, uh, dispatch product, and um, deliver services, help our clients, uh, we're continually updating the central uh, accounts and financials. So at all times, we're looking at a real world uh, financial picture of the business, uh, as opposed to where we, historically we would have several different systems, disparate systems with purchasing over here, finance over here, uh, sales and CRM over here on a separate system and perhaps a separate WMS and then trying to consolidate that, pulling out uh, reports to allow us to uh, create balance sheets, P&Ls and so on. And um, now this all actually by putting it on the, on the single central area, it is all available to us right at hand. Some of the, the key advancements that we found um, around this are what SAP would call the intelligent enterprise. So if we look around those core tenants, the core basics, I guess, of ERP, and they haven't really changed greatly in the last 20 years. You know, businesses purchase, sell, uh, run projects as they ever have. The modules have become a little more sophisticated and advanced, but more uh, walking are these areas around the outsides here. So if we look at, say, cloud technologies, for example, um, this is how we actually um, store the data, where the data lives. Is it going to be uh, on-premise, or are we going to migrate more towards um, secure cloud environments for our, for our data? Um, what that allows us to do is to um, uh, really take that overhead away um, in terms of IT uh, hardware being pre present within organizations. We've seen a move towards Internet of Things. So, so very much in addition to the purchasing, the sales and so on, uh, the uh, project management, we can also have feeds of data coming into the system from Internet of Things uh, devices. So uh, very much around sensors, around temperature monitoring, around um, different route stages and production uh, uh, process, where our forklifts, all that information can be fed back in and used as an external metric when uh, consolidated with core data. We're also seeing a lot more things like machine learning coming in, machine learning and artificial intelligence, SCP even the entire division uh, known as SCP Leonardo, um, and they work on this in AI and machine learning side of things. And basically what that enables us to do is to take away a lot of the donkey work from within the core systems. So if we look at, um, for example, the concept of matching invoices to uh, delivery or to, to deliveries, uh, matching uh, bank statements and bank reconciliations against the actual postings, uh, all of those type of manual repetitive tasks uh, can be greatly accelerated through the use of machine learning. Uh, so the systems themselves um, will actually, as we transact, become better and better at spotting um, uh, exceptions. So that's, that's really, really exciting for us because it allows us to take a lot of the drudgery out of day-to-day -day work for people. And we really want to, that, that's really what we want to get to, to really help, help our clients. Um, when we start plugging in big data, or sorry, Internet of Things, machine learning, um, a lot of the additional transactional information into one core system, you get the big data very fast. So you'll see the big data um, uh, symbol here. But effectively, we get to the point where we actually end up uh, storing a great deal of information um, in, in the core database. And to actually manage that, um, we need really, really powerful database technology. SAP is this covered through the use of SAP HANA technology. So that's their database technology in memory, very cutting edge, high performance, high availability, high redundancy 
latency basis. So everything is built on that. So that's your big data management. Uh, and then also we see mobile technologies. Again, this is something that becomes more and more um, as, we, as we move through um, uh, day-to-day life on mobile devices, tablets, uh, iPhones, and so on. Uh, where we're seeing an expectation that these two products can be consumed through that, through that facet. So, you know, within the best intelligent enterprise type ERPs, we'll see a full suite of mobile apps, web availability, device agnostic, and so on, uh, with very little IT footprint at all, if any, um, uh, within the, the organizations. Uh, and then once we get all that information together, the sensor data, the, the purchase data, the sales data, the finance data <clears throat> all together on a really good central big data management database then we can analyze it we can use bi and analytics again it should come standard with the sap intelligent enterprise so those analytics allow us to get very accurate snapshots of our data where our kpis are versus uh, where they need to be uh, and very often um, to really reduce and dial back uh, the amount of work that, a, that, a, that an individual has to do to get those metrics that they need to do on a day-to-day -day basis to do their job really, really well. So that's really, you know, an idea of what best practice ERP ought to look like. 